I think Rajon Rondo's career is probably over at this point. He is 36 years old, which he'll be 37 next season. I, I just think he's probably done. He has had an injury history. Last season, he played for the Lakers and the Cavaliers. On the Lakers, he only averaged three points per game. Only played in 18 games there as he got his minutes completely taken away, basically. And then for the Cavaliers, he averaged six points per game, but only played 21 games. He actually started one, though. And assist-wise, he averaged 4.5 assists per game last season. Five for the for the Cavaliers and three and a half for the Lakers. Also, a steal for the Cavaliers and half a steal for the Lakers. So, he's not as good as he used to be. He's a four-time All-Star with the Celtics back when he put up uh, assist champion numbers. He's a three-time assist champ and a one-time steals champ. So, he's probably a Hall of Famer. Looking at his career, four-time All-Star, three-time assist champ, steals champ, all-rookie, all-NBA one time, um, four-time all-defense, and two-time NBA champion. Those are pretty good numbers. Ever since he went to the Hawks, though, once he left the Lakers, because he went to the Hawks and then got traded to the Clippers, ever since then, his career has kind of fallen off. Because with the Hawks, he only averaged four points per game and three and a half assists. And then with the Clippers, it went up to seven and a half and six but since that Lakers run back in 2020, he's just never been quite as good. He averaged seven and five that year, um, but really turned it up in the playoffs and played extremely well in that playoffs. So ever since then, he just hasn't really been the same uh, player, which makes sense because back then he was only 34. So he's only 34. Now he is going to be 37 in February. So. Yeah, he definitely is not as good anymore. I don't see a team picking him up because he was picked up by the Cavaliers, well, traded to the Cavaliers because of um, them having Ricky Rubio get injured and Colin Sexton was injured. So they just needed a, another point guard. They had Darius Garland and then they had Rajon Rondo. They also had a third stringer. Kevin Pangos, who ended up getting waived. But Rondo was basically just on the team because they were desperate for a point guard. And now they got Ricky Rubio back. After they traded him, they were able to re-sign him this offseason. And they're going to have Colin Sexton back, we assume, if they sign him, which I think they will. And they have Darius Garland, and they're going to have, uh, like I said, Ricky Rubio. There might be someone else I'm forgetting. I don't know if they have Brandon Goodwin. I don't know if he's a point guard. But... Rondo's done. The Lakers aren't giving him another shot. A contender is really his only hope, and I don't know which contender really needs Rondo. He could be like a Udonis Haslam role, potentially, where he's like a player coach. But I don't even see that happening. I don't really see a team taking a risk on him this year. It's not even a risk. You know what you're getting, honestly. But he's had a Hall of Fame career, in my opinion. Not first ballot. I don't think he'll make it his first year. He's eligible. But... Unless it's a weak class, which I don't really know if it is. But I do think that he is a Hall of Famer that will make it eventually. So, really good career for Rajon Rondo. I think that's it for him, though. Um, but let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Do you think he's a Hall of Famer? Do you think this is the end of his career? Because I just can't see who would need to pick him up and why. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out, my friends. Leave a like, subscribe.